Hello, this is Sal Macaluso, and I'm going to be giving you a quick tutorial on how to use the new inventory management feature that has been added to our program. So the first thing you're going to do is on your admin homepage, you're going to click Manage Products, and you'll see that there is a new link here called Edit Inventory, and you'll see a no, new link up here that says Import Export Inventory. Now, if you don't see either of those links, that means that this program has not been updated to your admin panel and you will need to contact us. What you'll want to do is go to the bottom of your admin panel, click customer support, enter support ticket, and let us know that you want to have this inventory program added to your admin panel. Now, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get a list of your inventory. Now, uh, if you have a POS system that you can generate a list of your inventory, that'll make it a lot easier. There is a POS system that integrates and does this automatically for you. So if you want information about that, contact me. I'll be happy to point you in the right direction for that. But let me just give you uh, an overview of how this works, and then you can um, integrate it with your POS system uh, as you find that available to you. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the LaFemme collection because that's the one of the styles that I've added inventory to. So if we click edit inventory here, you're going to see that there's been inventory added in this inventory grid. So it shows the three colors that are available and the sizes that are available. I've selected here or it automatically defaults to standard product. That means that it will indicate that you have the inventory and it'll feed that information to search engines and people will be able to search this information on your website, but it'll also allow the consumer to order other sizes and other colors that you don't have. So let me show you on the website what I mean. So here's where the inventory is actually showing and we also feed it with these keywords. So this little text down here helps people that are looking for these specific styles and colors and uh, sizes know that you have them because of these keywords that have all of those quick delivery uh, keyword um, components. Now, as you see, they can order any size from zero to 12, double zero to 12, that this style comes in and all the different colors. So that's because on the inventory grid screen, we did say that we wanted it as a standard product. Now, what will happen when this style is discontinued from LaFemme? In other words, they have told us that that style is no longer available to special order in all these sizes and colors. Of course, this is true with every vendor and every style that you have. It will automatically switch this to inventory only. Now, when I switch it to inventory only, I'm just going to come back here and refresh the screen. And now you'll see it says select a size first. So what it's forcing the consumer to do now, as you see, this style is only available in inventory in hot pink 00, uh, 10, 2, 4, you see that? So now they'd have to select the size first, and then they'll only be able to select the color that's available in that size. See, this one is available in Peacock in a 6, and in a size 2, it's only available in hot pink. So it limits them to only be able to order what you actually have available. Now, again, that will automatically happen as the styles are discontinued, or if you so choose, you can actually uh, decide that that's what you want to do at any point. So in other words, if you are adding inventory in here and you only want the customer to be able to place an order on what you have in inventory, regardless of what the manufacturer has in inventory, then you would select inventory only. But in most cases, you're going to leave the default of standard product and let the system automatically change it to inventory only if that style is discontinued. Now, this is a very important component of this inventory management program because if you do want styles that are discontinued from the vendor to be removed from your website, but of course you don't want them to be removed when those styles are available for, uh, for your customers to buy in the sizes and colors that you have. So you want to uh, make sure that your inventory is added. Now, I want to show you in this inventory management program, when you click this import export inventory, it gives you the ability to export a CSV 
file that shows what you have entered into inventory. Now again, there's information here about POS systems that tie in with this to make it easier because you could get that information from your POS system. Contact me uh, if you want some more information about that. But for now, the program that the uh, spreadsheet that you're going to be using is this export inventory to CSV for manual Excel editing. And when you open that, again, depending on what browser you're using, it'll give you a way to export that uh, CSV file. And you're going to see a file like this. Now, of course, this only has those few pieces of uh, Le, of that LeFemme style, but this would be very, very long with all the different inventory that you've added to the program. And you would be able to edit it here. So, for example, if you, when you sell uh, the size two and the size four in hot pink, you would simply have to delete it off of this spreadsheet, save the spreadsheet to a place where you're going to remember where you saved it. I'm going to save it right here to the desktop. And then you would simply come back to this screen, browse for that spreadsheet. Of course, you'd have to know where you saved it. Submit, and that automatically updates your inventory. So now if I go back here to this style, you, you see it has the sizes that are available. I'm just going to refresh the screen and those sizes that I just took off the spreadsheet are now eliminated. So it gives you a very easy way to manually keep your inventory updated on your website. You would generate that spreadsheet. You would delete whatever styles you sold that day. You would then upload the spreadsheet and then you would take the receipts that you have that day and you would add them into your admin panel. So you would either search for the style or you would uh, find the style using these options to find the collection and the style using your managed product screen and then you would add the inventory by clicking that edit inventory button and finding the grid and putting the styles in there. Then of course you could generate that spreadsheet and it would just be part of your normal routine to keep your inventory updated. Now of course if you do have that POS system, you won't have to do that because you would be able to use your POS system, export a CSV from it, and use that to update your inventory. But there's more. What, what I want to show you here is that once you have that inventory added, what we will do on your website is we will move the styles that have inventory up to the front. So I want to show you, I'm going to come back here. I'm going to go to LaFemme, and I'm going to add some units to another LaFemme style. So this is the one that we've already had inventory added to it, but I'm going to take this next style, 15985, and we'll add some inventory to it. Let's add a couple of pieces. A few pieces in blue, aqua, and a couple of pieces in the white gold. Okay, so I'm going to go back to that thumbnail screen, and you'll see if I just refresh that screen, it automatically brings this style now up ahead of this style because I put more inventory on this style. So the sort will be whatever you have the most inventory of decreasing, and then followed by what you do not have inventory. Now we're also giving the manufacturers the opportunity to add their inventory. They could dedicate inventory to the eStyle Central database that they would add on their admin panels and then that would be showing here as well. So it would first show the styles you have in inventory with click de delivery, followed by the styles that the vendors have in inventory that they've made available for quick delivery, and then followed by styles that there is neither you nor the vendor has uh, added inventory, but those styles can still be ordered because they'll have, they're still available in a reasonable amount of time. As we keep this more updated and more accurate, it's going to uh, make it a lot easier for customers to find things on your website. Now this quick delivery information, you will also have the option to update that information. You would come here to your general settings screen and you'll see 
that we've added an option for you to change what you want it to say. If you want it to say in stock, ships today, or you could leave it with no message, you would simply change that by clicking your choice for what you want the thumbnails to say, and then that will automatically be updated. Now, of course, you could recommend something else that you would want it to say. We'd be happy to add it to that drop down. The other thing that we've added, which is extremely important, uh, this feature I really think is going to make a great difference in uh, how effective your website is for generating sales on your inventory is the ability to uh, for the consumer to search in uh, different categories, colors, sizes, etc. So I'm going to show you what that is. Can you go back to general settings if you're not there? And you're going to scroll down to miscellaneous settings. You'll see miscellaneous settings here. Now, again, if you do not have this feature on your admin panel, you won't see this uh, this option for turn search price filter on off. Now, you should have this. This is the regular search box, and, and we leave that defaulted to on. But this is here for you to turn on and off. When you turn it on, you will then submit it. And what you're going to see now here is that new options have been added. They can do a price filter where they can actually slide this bar to, this, to the price range that they're interested in. Uh, let's do $206 to $363. They could actually type the numbers in here too if they want. Uh, but that's going to limit their search to that price range. They also can select sizes. They can select one or two sizes. They're not sure if there are four or six. They want to see what they ha what you have in, style, in size four or six available in stock. But there's also going to be other options. We will be adding these options as they become available. There will be, for example, one shoulder. So there'll be body styles. Um, everything that you could possibly think of will be added for options for them to search body styles, colors, fabric types, all kinds of different options that will then they'll be able to check and, and filter out their search. And when they click apply, it's going to find things that meet that criteria. So these both of these styles that we added inventory on LaFemme were in the price range they wanted. They both were available in 4.6 and they're both in stock. So, so again, as we add these different options, they'll automatically just be added here on your admin panel for your customers to search. So if you have any questions about how this will work or how you would get this added to your your admin panel, if it's not there, as I said, please call me at your earliest convenience. It's 800-729-8233 or submit a support ticket. That's usually quicker right here to uh, either hosting and programming or general support. Make sure you put your three-digit account number in the subject line so we know who you are. We'll get back to you as quickly as possible. Again, I can't emphasize how important it is to get this inventory added. Uh, this is certainly going to be a game changer in, in how effective your website is uh, at getting sales and directing customers to your website if they're looking for something that you have. Again, I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.